And these are our hydroponically grown strawberries. And this is a really neat way to grow strawberries. Um, it really helps to conserve water. And these plastic uh, gutter type tubes that we're growing them in, um, inside is a co uh, coconut husk. And these um, are also run with a drip irrigation line going through the center of the coconut husk. And so there's actually no dirt and no soil that these strawberries are growing in. Uh, the coconut husk allows the strawberry roots to hold on to uh, something. And then we pump in the nutrients and the water through these uh, these gutter systems. And what's really neat is this saves about 75% more water than the traditional way of growing strawberries. And we only water them, I think, about three to four times a day for seven minutes each um, per watering cycle. So it saves a lot of water. Um, it's also a really nice way, an elevated way for you to pick strawberries. So you don't have to bend down. All you have to do is find your strawberry hanging off the corner mm -hmm. and you get to, you do your bend and snap and you pop off your strawberry okay. and you get to eat it and enjoy it. And you do it both ways here. We do do it both ways. So we do the more traditional growing system with the bags on the ground, uh, the coconut husk bags on the ground, and then we do the elevated system as well. Okay. This does help us with pests as well because once it's elevated, uh, you don't have the problem of the rats or the rabbits or any type of little critter coming and eating your strawberries. And also, um, our berries are really fragile, and if at all they're sitting in, say, a puddle of water right here at the bottom on the ground, they're more susceptible to rot and mold. So by elevating them, um, you're getting a better um, bounty because they're not susceptible to the rot. So do you think you're, you're going to eventually switch it all out to this system? You know, I don't know. I haven't had that conversation with uh, Farmer Tanaka, uh, but I, I believe he likes having variety. Mm -hmm. And um, some people really like picking the old way. Mm -hmm. um, it, it feels more like farming. It feels more natural to be close to the earth mm -hmm. um, rather than this um, newer system. And this is also a very costly system. Yeah. Um, so you don't, um, we don't necessarily want to put all of our resources into growing like this when we could do it a cheaper, more traditional way and also a fun way for people. Are these organic? Uh, we're a responsible farm, so what that means is we really think about um, how we grow and how it affects the environment, um, and we try and use as little pesticides as possible. Um, if we do use pesticides, they're all OMRI approved, and OMRI stands for Organic Material Review Institute. Um, so if we are using them, um, typically they are an organic approved pesticide. I see. And how long is strawberry season? Uh, strawberry season is in our springtime, usually from around February to around June. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Thanks.